What's up, my dudes? Today I'll be teaching you how to make different types of witch salt. Now, these are different types of salts, so you can have different intents for each one, but also I'm going to be doing a few benefits and a few reasons to use certain salts in whatever dish you're cooking, whether that be for just, whether that be just because you want to do a little bit of spell work or you're a kitchen witch and you want to be doing your spells in the kitchen and doing spells that way, or maybe you're just new and you don't really know what to do and maybe you want to do a little bit of witchcraft but you don't want to full on buy things just to practice. Um, these are just some basic ingredients so you might have them in your home and if not then you can get them very cheaply. I'm going to be using dry ingredients just because that's easier for me to get. If you are stationary or if you live somewhere where you can grow your own plants, I suggest you do that. That will save you a lot of money and it's also better for the environment if you just buy if you just farm them yourself but if you cannot um, buy them dry is okay it's not going to harm the spell in any way if you're going to be using any sort of herbs remember you don't have to necessarily have them fresh and dry them out yourself you can just have them pre-bought and dried most of the things that i buy are already dried and ready for me so if you are a practicing witch and maybe you don't want to buy a whole bunch of herbs or anything or try and grow them you can buy them dried it's fine it's not going to hurt your spells if anyone tells you otherwise they're just being a dick and also these herbs can be burnt and also ingested so if you're going to be making black salt you can either make it with charcoal and burnt herbs and salt or you can only do burnt herbs and salt i'm not going to be using charcoal simply because i do not have natural charcoal but if you do have natural charcoal and you want to use that, then you can. Um, it will just make your salt a lot darker and also it, charcoal itself has some properties in it that you can incorporate into whatever spells you're doing. But I don't have charcoal and I know finding natural charcoal isn't really that common in most stores. You could order it, but I'm doing this for my travelers and people who maybe don't have access to online things or they want to do it a different way. So what you're going to need for your black salt is you're going to need BBC. Now this stands for basil, bay leaf, and cinnamon. If you thought otherwise, shame on you. But bay leaves, bay leaves can be used for wisdom, success, and protection. These are very good to have in your salt just in general because you want to be attracting that to you and attracting that wherever, whatever state of life you're in. You want to be attracting these three things to you so bay leaf is good for black salt because you're going to be using it often or if you cook often um, having some bay leaves either dried up and burnt or just using them as is will be good for any sort of spell or ritual that you're going to be doing with your food and your last ingredient is cinnamon for happiness love success and protection now i have mine ground up you can use the actual cinnamon sticks i find that if you're wanting to stretch out your spending a little bit more, buying the crushed or powdered version is a lot better than buying these sticks because sticks, they usually come in the same size container, but it's only about five to seven in the actual thing. And that's not very much if you're going to want to um, do your spells over a long period of time. So just buying this, this lasts me a while. I know some people are allergic to this and it is technically a spice so it's not really included in this. Black salt, you really shouldn't taste the actual herbs that you're doing. You should just taste the salt and maybe charcoal if you're adding that, but you don't really want to be tasting the herbs. If you want to taste the herbs, that's just a seasoned salt, but this is black salt. So you just want the color and the properties of the actual herbs and not the actual flavor. For my black salt, I'm just going to be using this bottle of sea salt. You can have um, regular salt if you want, but I prefer sea salt just because it's more natural. And it's also a bit more uh, easier to get just because you can go to a bulk store and get some salt rather than having to choose and match different salts. You can just go to a bulk store, get a large container, and then you can get something like this where it's a large container, but you can refill this. 20 or 30 times with the amount of salt you can get. If you're getting the salt like this, you're going to want to crush it up first. That'll just make it easier to mix with the ashes, and if you're using charcoal, it'll make it easier to mix with that. But you don't have to necessarily crush it, it'll just make it um, a bit easier to mix. What you're going to do is you're going to want to add your BBC. Now, this stands for bay leaves, you're going to need some basil, and you're going to need some cinnamon. Now, these three ingredients, you don't necessarily have to have a lot of them. Um, this is going to be for a large amount of sea, 
large amount of black salt so if you're only making a small bit like if you have So with your black salt, you can either have it in a container like this, so it's a larger container, so you would need a lot more seasoning and a lot more salt, or you can have it in something like this if you're going to use it more sparingly. Um, I personally use two different types of black salt, so this is going to be for my edible black salt, and this is going to be for more of my of charcoal based because I'm not going to be eating it, but if you're going to be eating it, I would suggest putting it in something like this. And all this is is just a hot sauce container that's served in it. As you can see, it's not completely done. Um, it's kind of wearing off, but it looks nice. The salt helps as a bit abrasive, so if your herbs are a little bit more put together like mine are or they're not as dry, then adding a little bit of salt will not only help absorb some of the moisture, but it'll also help grind them. your spice is pretty ground up it doesn't need to be perfect if you have a grinder then you can grind this up even further but this is going to be fine um, i'm just going to be burning it anyway so what you want to do is you want to get some sort of cauldron this is the one i use this uh, three goddess one and you want to just have a tea candle inside of it and you want to light it now what this is going to do is it's going to cook everything from the bottom upwards so this is from another batch so this is just going to go straight in here but you want something where it has the holes in it so the flames can go up and through it without having to suffocate it and this I just found at the dollar store you can find them in a pack of two light it make sure that the flame is enough and then just place it in you want to place it at sort of an angle, no matter which angle it is, just so the flame isn't directly in the center. Um, if it's directly in the center, then it will just heat up the center part and you want it to sort of heat up everything without it actually burning and smothering. So as you can see, this is already lit and once that gets going, then I'm going to add um, I'm going to add my spices. And then you're just going to want that want to let that sit. Now this can sit from anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour depending on how dry your herbs are and also the herbs that you add to with it. Um, it usually, I usually just let this go until I don't notice that it's burning anymore. Um, if you would like, you can also set the top on fire. Um, that would just help burn it from the top and the bottom, but this is fine. I'm just going to let this sit, and then I'm going to come back when it's fully burnt, and then you can add it with your black salt. Since most of this is done, I'm just going to go ahead and sift it. Um, this is going to be hot and... Most of the candle is um, burnt out. There's still a little bit of wax in there. So if you wanted to leave this on for a little bit longer than you could, be careful that's hot. Right, so is this. So as you can see, most of the herbs are burnt. So there's still a few in there. All I'm going to do is crush this up a little bit more, make sure all the big clumps of everything that was in there is just thoroughly crushed. And 
And as you can see, there's still some of the larger pieces of bay leaves that didn't get crushed. Um, if you would like, you can do that over again, but it'll be fine for me. Now, if you have a bit more bay leaves, what you can do is you can just sift it through again like this. can just be reburnt in your cauldron but this is enough for me so it'll be fine so I'm just going to take my container and I like to use a little cut off of the card just to fit it into the small thing so just go like this and just add it like that And then you just want to shake this, make sure all the loose bits of salt and everything is just thoroughly mixed in with everything. And there you go. Now this only makes about to there. Um, if you want to fill the whole bottle, you would just use more herbs. Um, this is just a test video, so I'm not going to make the entire bottle on camera. But if you just keep burning your herbs and keep adding salt and everything, then eventually you can have a larger amount of salt. If you're using a small cauldron like me, if you have something larger that you can heat up a lot more herbs at once, you can just do this process all at once, but I usually do this haphazardly while I'm doing something else or just throughout the day, so I'm not really worried about refilling my pot and using up the candles and everything. And these candles you can get from Dollar Tree, you can also just make your own and remelt them back into the mold. Um, I have a few larger candles that I actually use for this, but this is just for the video. Um, but yeah, that's how you make black salt, and since this is mainly just ashes and a little bit of herbs and some salt, um, if you are someone that if you are someone that has a very sensitive palate, this might be this might not be for you, um, just because of the actual taste of the salts. But if you would like to make it, then now you know how to make it. Yeah, that's the end of the video. If you liked it, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm going to be posting videos every week. And if you would like any, anything specific or you would like to know anything specific, just leave it in the comments below. And I can either make a whole video about that or I can just tell you in the comments. Um, I'm liking that I'm actually starting to get more of a fan base. I'm at 57 subscribers now, so I'm very grateful for that. Um, hope to keep producing content and keep growing my subscribers and everyone else and hopefully be able to meet some of you because I am a traveler so if you want me to come and see you or something then just let me know but yeah that's the end of the video make sure you have a good day night life enjoy yourself and be happy